Well, this, this bu budget augurs well for the infrastructure industry because it has the highest provision ever made. They're going to spend 100 lakh crores of rupees in the next five years on infrastructure. Not only that, they're also going to solve the legacy issues of the GST and the old service tax by a one-time settlement, which will release a lot of monies into the players in infrastructure industry. So I think in this context, we are now seeing a huge direction this government has given that it intends to spend on infrastructure and make it, make it up to date. Second important thing, they have also spent a lot, a lot of concessions for affordable housing, including a view on rental housing. And I think this augurs well, which is another sector, though it goes by the word housing, is infrastructure too. So in short, infrastructure has got a lot more provisioning in this budget than we ever had before. There is the other, which is the clean water abhyan, which is uh, such, which is in the same in the same genre as the swachhata abhyan. I think this is a very essential part of India. It's going to reach clean water to everybody's homes, and I think it's also an infrastructure project on the other side. And on the other side is a very a very essential and a very very game-changing project that the initiative that the Prime Minister has thought of. Now, having said these things, there is also a change that they are looking at in making the dis distribution companies of power free of all the cross subsidies, etc., so they can do their duties and not come into a financial crisis every now and then. I think these are all the very good things that I see that are there in the budget. On the other side, however, there is a slowdown in the economy. There is a certain lack of demand in the country. And we thought this would be addressed in the, in, in the, in the budget a bit, or at least begun to be addressed. This is because the investment requires, an investment climate requires a low cost of equity capital, which is very high. And this is all due to taxation. Second is we need debt at low interest debt and availability of debt. The, given the problems of the banking system, not enough money is available today. And therefore, and there is only one source, and that is banking. So opening up the bond sector in some big way is called for. Some mention was ma made, but the overall package of making investment very, very uh, climate in such a way that the investor, when he wants to invest, says, yes, this is the place I want to invest. Neither is the regulatory character of India is very unstable at the moment, this environment. That also needed some addressing in the budget, that the regulatory environment will be stabilized, so there is a predictability. I think some of these things I would have liked to see more, a lower taxation, a pathway to, to showing how investors can find access to both equity capital and debt. I would have liked to see more of that in the budget.